It's a couple bitches in the room and about 15 gang members with red bandanas and Ben Davis and Dickie suits. And I'm, I was like, all right, this is, this is some hood shit. And it's a big ass white pit bull just roaming through the hotel room. No leash, no nothing, just walking up to people and it looked like a cold killer. Got a big spike collar on the motherfucker. And way in the back of the suite, sitting in the chair, Woody's way back there, like talking to a girl or something. So my boy walks me over to him, and he gets up and he introduces us. And when my boy introduced me, he introduced me as a rapper. And so Woody was asking me questions about music. And I told him I never rapped before. I wouldn't, I never put no albums out or been on no retail releases. So he invited me to the studio and asked if I wanted to come record at his studio. On the top? We started becoming close as personal friends the following year when I hit um, ninth grade. And basically, um, he basically started showing me how to rap. And then from there, he started introducing me to the whole culture of, you know, being a northerner. He started, he introduced me to Blackbird and the whole crew. And slowly, I just kind of integrated into that. I told him what had happened, like, I don't have any friends really, and this is why. And I told him what happened, how I had gotten jumped and shit. And he was like, the fuck? He's like, are you serious? And he's like, your boys didn't do shit? And I was like, nah, they just sat there and watched. And he was like, bro, that would never happen. He's like, I can't imagine, that's crazy, bro. He's like, I'm so sorry that happened to you. And he's like, bro, he's like, I'm gonna introduce you to my friends, bro. He's like, we would never let that happen to you. And that's kind of, and that was my introduction into kind of kicking it with everybody, but that's the, that's basically what it is, yeah. This is my homeboy, Seattle, formerly from Straight Lace Mob. What's up? I'd like to say what's up to everybody. Got met at Frisco, Hunter's Point. We came folks and stuff, but these are my real folks. I met Woody probably when I was like 16. Knew of him. I was with a friend of mine. We pulled up to the park. This guy looking at me like I'm an op the whole time. Yeah, I used to think I was a West Pittsburgh Crip when I was a kid because I stayed at my grandma's house in West Pittsburgh. And that's why I wore blue. And the gang banging North Daniels and all that shit didn't come up until the late 90s in Antioch. He looked at me funny. It's funny because, shit, we, me and him became such good friends after this. Yeah, the homie shit didn't come around for a little bit. 